God damn it, Reese. <laughs> God damn it, Reese. I love you. I love you all. Okay. Well, let's investigate some shit. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The Monokuma file says a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. I stopped drinking life when it decided to fuck my ass. Blue free. You don't ever want to... You don't ever want to do anal without some kind of lubricant, Missy. It's very painful. Does that mean this dumbbell is actually the murder weapon? That's right. Lube-free ass-fucking ouchie. <laughs> Firebot, how are you doing? I don't imagine it could have been anything else. That's like sticking a dry chicken wiener in a test tube. <laughs> What's a chicken wiener? Like an actual chicken dick? Or what? So, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there is that like, mm, I don't understand monitoring, I guess, on this. Oh, maybe is that where I hear myself a little bit? I don't fucking know. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was life fucking you over. And life sucks when it does shit like that. Locker room dumbbell has been added to the truth bolt section in your handbook. Um. The word blood rust, bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. What's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. That's a lot. We have to pay almost two dollars to the shite wieners. Oh my god, the poster's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. No shit. Uh, yeah. I don't think I have either. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. I can feel life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Jahiro dead body. Very strange. But the more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Yeah. What? But we're still not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <coughs> A surveillance camera. The mastermind must have been watching as Chihiro was killed. They know what's happened and they're still forcing us to go through with this. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Sh Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Oh my god. Yeah. Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. <laughs> she was very light. That is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her. But still. Well. I think she can come here on her own by choice. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? Hmm. She'd been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Manakuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. However. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train a secret, but that she also would have come with someone else? Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Sakura's account has been added to the truth bolts. Yep. Dude has a real complex about being weak. You, you heard Shahiro talk about it, right? All I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. That sounds like a good old time there, Viro. American beef. Beer. 
Batman, all this stuff. Sure, did. Which, I guess, explains the trick down here. But, did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl, after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. <laughs> now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Huh? Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check out every aspect of this case. You finished a 32 ounce? Dude, I had a 12 ounce steak the other day and it took let's me go. two sittings. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy. I get cut up with the wrong person this time. So this is our next location, huh? This place is related to the investigation. Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Man. If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for You me? called for me? Has he been domesticated? That's right. <laughs> it seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to get through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbeal. If there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling mounting, mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Hm. Man, I could see Vissy being like, you know, like having one of those giant platters, like with like. 18 drinks on it and just like running around the dining room just pissed off and like a what do you want you motherfucker what do you want of course correct correct so then that means only girls can get in the girls locker room and only boys can get in the boys locker room in other words Chihiro's body being found in the girls locker room means <laughs> hey Makoto I can see right through you see right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Shahira was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So in other As words, such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such. Good ignorance. lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? <laughs> you should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook out to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hmm. That's pretty awesome, everybody. Knowing you, I bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah ah, you're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Yeah, PBRs are, those are our hipster cheap beers here. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh, so sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like by a Kua, Kuya and get your poop together. Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest on your own damn self. Fine. Well, I know you're fortunately lacking mental facilities, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall. <laughs> That'll help you understand what's going on. Card reader has been added to the truth bolt section. Virebot, I feel like you would look like a spring chicken no matter what. We came to the main hall. So, what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure out for myself? Jesus Christ. The hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems like some kind of machine. A 
surveillance camera, and there's what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. It's so chilling. There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook? No, wait. There's three of them. But why are they? What are they doing here? So you finally found them, huh? Did you know these were here by Akuya? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Say Sayaka. Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did. A secret ship? What's a secret ship? Is like a, su a secret shopper? You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. Hmm. Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay close to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Just a clueless Canadian who doesn't like sh it doesn't know about shitty American beers. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. I see. Yeah, now I understand. Main hall e handbooks has been added to the truth bolt section of your handbook. What? Oh, you're fine, Vissy. I just wanted to make sure I understood. Hmm. Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. It's broken. Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then that the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It makes sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with the dozens and dozens of base walls. Pummeled with base walls. The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind connected. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. No. Hey! What? what? Yeah. That e-handbook is essential to a student's life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily, but it did. That's impossible. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to a... 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with. It wouldn't do crap. Oh, but uh, when even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does. I can't hear but it's you. a secret. I wouldn't want you to be breaking any more handbooks. What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. Well, what? But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. Yeah, they do that shit all the time in corporations here, Vissy. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. Do you think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. <laughs> okay, then this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the, the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Shahiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? What do you mean by that, Bayakuya? To be exact, not quite. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then, you really think? You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat Absolutely. Myself. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. Yeah, I know exactly, Missy. That murder fiend is Genocide Jack, what? right? There's nobody else who could be... I got foods, yay! A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly and then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. 
Still, could one of us really be a demented, psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean little right now. <laughs> I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. What do you mean by that? Oh, God damn it. Can we get out of... Is there really proof? <laughs> There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all that evidence you need. It's all clear. Evidence now. that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence. Does something like that really... Ah! Hey, you two! Big trouble. Need your help. I don't have time to play with you. We're busy. Leave us alone. Because, I mean... But it's an emergency. Emergency! Come on, please. You gotta help me. Let's help Hottie. Please. This is a serious emergency. Please, please. You gotta help me. Just calm down, okay, Hina? I mean... But, but it's an emergency. An emergency? What happened? Well... Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do by... By uh, Kuya? I can't read Very this fucking strange. name. Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me. Don't make me myself. repeat myself. I don't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no, and then that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. Hurry. Well, wait for us, Hina. Let's go. Square eyes. What's up, buddy? How are you doing, you sexy fuck? Hey, Square eyes. I need you to be careful now because I think every single person in Alabama has COVID after that damn celebration. Uh, after the Alabama winning that game the other night. It looks like she headed to the dorms, to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. How you doing, buddy? Where's Toko? Toko. Okay, there she is. Yeah. But still, everyone's gonna have that shit after that bullshit. Is Toko inside some kind of, kind of emergency? What are we doing? You guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. Hm. So what's the emergency? So well, after um, what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing. But when we did, hmm. it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, yeah good idea. She's got she's got this cleavage going, and what the hell is up with? Why do I feel like I'm three foot tall when I'm running around this school? Look at this. She got short shorts, and her like her cleavage, and she's got a po ponytail that you can just you know hold on to when you're doing her doggy style. So there's all these things that I may as well give it a shot. They're all like. High school, 18-year-olds. I just assume they're all 18 square eyes when I'm saying horrible shit about them. The door swung open slowly and silently. H Holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? What? Oh, uh... It's nothing. Japanese, square eyes, it's so it's all very that, weird. Uh, Hina was really worried about you, <laughs> pulling yourself up in your room. Yeah. Leave me alone. She's crazy. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? You won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. It's just like that she slammed the door in my face. What what was that? She's been acting like that the whole time, and when I rang a little while ago, I'll the drive out the killer, the drive out the murderous fiend. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? You mean it looks like someone came on her face? Baby shower. I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust her door down. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think the same thing as Bayakuya? From Bleach. 
Yeah. Does she think the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko is so scared? What? Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? I mean... Hmm. Who can persuade her? I mean... It was... It took me a second. Okay, who's gonna persuade her then? Um... Hey, Baya Kui, you think you could ask her? To come out of her room, I mean? That's fine. Oh, sure, whatever. Yeah, because she loves him. Sure, whatever. Huh? huh? You're going to talk to her, Baya Kui? Yeah? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Baya Kui stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. Ding dong! After a few moments, she's going to get all horny when what he opens the door. Leave me alone. You're all s s s so annoying. Ah! ah. Bakulu, Bakula? It's Byakuya. It's Byakuya. I can't say these Japanese names. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't could keep her, I promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Hmm. Even Byakuya couldn't pull it off. Hm. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. H hold on. Hey, Bayakua, was 